with the new Lego Star Wars UCS X-Wing releasing this week, I thought it'd be fun to revisit some past X-Wings here. So surprisingly, this was my first ever Lego set purchase um, that I built. So this is Poe's X-Wing Fighter, 717 pieces. This was released in September of 2015. And from what I saw, it was on shelves for about three years. Now back then, this was an $80 set. If you want to get your hands on this now, it's going to run you about $100 to $120-ish to find one brand new. If you want to get one used, you probably get one between $50 and $70 uh, complete used here. Now, this was from The Force Awakens, and there's some pretty cool features here. I'm just going to go over the X-Wing itself. I'm not going to even worry about some of the other little minor builds here. I just don't really care so much about those, um, and hopefully y'all don't either. Um, so I personally... As a Flyers fan, I really, really appreciate the orange and the black of Poe's X-Wing. And it is a dang good-looking ship here. Uh, it comes with three minifigures. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this was the first time when this set was released that we actually got a BB-8 minifigure. So that was exciting back then. Um, now, when I purchased this, I was a little bit more frugal with some of my Lego purchases. I had to kind of pick and choose, and this was the one that I had liked the most. Um, so, cool thing about this is, just like all the other X-Wings, really, is that the wings can go up and down just by turning this piece. As you can see, it's a little rough when you do that like that. And just doing a quick little roundabout here of the set so you can see everything. It really is a cool-looking build. has a lot of really neat details here. Give you a little shot of it up at the top. Now, when I display it, I display it standing up just like this on my shelves. When I stand up, I do kind of like lean it against something, but I stand it up flat right here. Um, you have some shooters here on the sides, so they're pretty neat. And just the way the orange and black goes with the set, it really is a cool looking set. Now, for today's standards, some of y'all might, you know, want to have it like an enhancement for this set or maybe a couple of things differently. But to me, I really like this set. Maybe it has some of the, the nostalgia that comes with it, but I just think it's a really cool looking set. I've been able to keep it over the years in a display case, pretty much dust free. You do get a little cockpit area here, as you can see. So overall, I think this is a really cool looking set. And like I said, I've had this on shelves now for like five, six, seven years, I don't know. And the rubber bands still work great. So it goes up. The one thing that I would say that I would like to see differently, and I don't know if this is just an X-Wing thing or not, but when you sit it down flat and the wings are up like this, it does sit on the wings, which I'm not particularly fond of. I maybe like some type of uh, landing gear a little bit longer on the bottom would probably go a long way. But I guess that's my only really complaint with this one. I would say at the time for 80 bucks, I think it was a little bit overpriced. Um, I remember getting this on sale for 20% off. And now we'll just do a quick little overview of the figs. You have a nice little BB-8 minifigure and he is just an awesome little character. And again, if y'all are new here, slap that subscribe button. I think I'm going to go over all the different X-Wings just for fun. Here is a Resistance Ground Crew figure. Actually a pretty cool looking figure. I really like the uh, like the light, light green here. It reminds me of like an army-ish color green. And the helmet's actually really, really cool as well. You get one facial print for this character. But it's not a bad minifigure, that's for sure. You get a Resistance X-Wing pilot, which I really like his torso printing and the leg printing I think looks pretty good on this figure. Just think I'll zoom in a little better. And the helmet is really, really neat. I think the helmet has a lot of detail in it. I wonder if they would ever do like a um, like a helmet build of something like this. I mean, they did Luke's, so why not be able to do this one? But pretty cool figure. Let's see if he's got, he's got one facial print here and there's the back. Pretty cool looking figure. And the final figure, we get Poe Dameron, and he's a cool-looking figure here. Uh, pretty cool torso and leg printing, no arm printing. He has his back printing here, but really, honestly, the best part of the figure to me is because I really, really like Poe's helmet, is the helmet. There's a very good amount of detail on this helmet printing. I really like it. I wish LEGO would, would release a helmet for Poe. I know there's a Hasbro Black Series one out there, but I'd love to see a helmet set for Poe. If y'all are new here, slap that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this Poe's X-Wing. How's it aged over time for you? Did you like the set when it came out? Do you like the set now? 
I really like it. It's one of my favorite sets, mostly because of the orange and the black. And again, if y'all are new here, slap that subscribe button. And we'll be going over some more X-Wings, and we will... We have the uh, the UCS X-Wing on order. So once it gets here, we'll be building that and doing a review on that one. Thank y'all for watching.